we will learn in this lecture the another G operator is the selection operation. The selection operation is basically the fitness evaluation for the solutions that is there in the current population. So, there are different what is called the techniques for the selection mechanism and we will discuss five techniques in this course in this lecture. The five techniques are the canonical selection, then the roulette wheel selection, rank based selection, the tournament selection and steady state selection. So, let us start first with the canonical selection and then we will discuss one by one. Now, the selection is the one important uh, process before going to the convergence test we have to first evaluate the best solution or the fittest solution. So, basically the by means of selection our objective is to how to choose the individuals those are there in the current population at any instant and then if we choose the best solution then the best solution can be passed to unless if it is not converged that means the optimal solution is not achieved then we have to go for the next population. And so far going to the next population our task is to select the mating pool. So, usually the procedure of selecting the mating pool is to select the best individual first and then undergo them to the mating and then reproduction. So, the purpose of the selection is therefore, to I mean ensure that the fittest individuals in the current population is selected to produce the better offspring. So, so this basically necessitates the selection procedure unless the random procedure cannot give the best uh, solution at the quickest way or it will not converge quickly or giving the accurate result. That means, we have to follow certain selection mechanism other than the arbitrary selection or random selection rather. Now, so random selection is ok. So, we will dis discuss about uh, basically selection. Selection is the prior step of breeding, breeding means reproduction that means mating pool creation, selecting the mating pair and then reproduction all these things. Now, so for the fitness evaluation is concerned, uh, so as we know, so G A genetic algorithm is a iterative steps that means a cyclic process it has to repeat it again and again or we can say it is basically one population to another population and in each population we have to search for the best solution. So, best solution is basically ensured by the selection operation in the genetic algorithm and the fitness evaluation is the one scheme that will allow us to evaluate the uh, survivability of in the, in the, in the each individual in the current uh, population. Now, let us see what are the different methods are there for the selections are there. Now, the question is that how to evaluate the fitness of an individual. So, there should be some metric or some policy should be there by which we can apply this one. At our hand we have the chromosome or an individual solution and the individual solution is represented by a chromosome we know. So, given the chromosome we have to obtain the fitness value that is the objective actually. So, idea is basically you know so at any instant one individual basically represents what are the different values of the design parameter at that instant. That means, if the objective function is f defined in terms of n design parameters then its, its phenotype represents that at any at that instant the different values of this design parameter. Now, so this basically can give us quickly to calculate the objective function. So, one way evaluating the fitness value is basically same way let us see let us calculate the objective function uh, for the current values of the gene values and then this can be a fitness value. So, this is basically broad idea that is followed there. Now, the idea it is again we can represent it like this. So, uh, this is an example to explain how the fitness evaluation will work for us. So, this is in the uh, ok. So, we can this is in the refer uh, with reference to the traveling salesman problem like. So, here basically uh, uh, 5 cities are given there A, B, uh, C, D, E uh, ok 6 cities of course, 6 cities problem A, B, C, D, E, F 
and these are the different solutions. So, for example, P 1 is a one path and these are the different solutions are there and the cost of these solutions as you know exactly the cost means what is the cost of C to B then B to A then A to D then D to E and D F to E, F to e like the cost is basically here in 11. So, at an instant suppose this is the population, population includes 5 different individuals or 5 solutions and then we can apply the cost function. So, applying the cost function for P 1 it gives this is the cost value and similarly this one. Now, out of these different cost value that is obtained in this case we can say this 19 is the best. So, that means out of this solution okay, if it is a minimum cost okay, of course, it is not the maximum right. So, if it is a minimum cost then out of this solution 10 is the best solution then next best is 11 and then 12 and like this one. So, 19 and 16 are the worst two worst solution here. So, this basically gives an idea about how the fitness is fitness can be collected can be calculated with the help of the objective function. Now, so we can say in other words that fitness value for the measurement of fitness value one metric that can be considered is the objective function usually it is followed in many of the cases otherwise it is some other strategy or policy is followed. Now, we will discuss about different selection that means that is depending on the survivability or some other way or some procedure how uh, from a set of I mean from a given population how the best uh, some solutions can be selected for the meeting or for the uh, meeting pool actually. Now, we will first discuss about the canonical selection. The canonical selection Okay, so, first we will decide the can canonical selection now in G A theory uh, this canonical selection is also called uh, proportionate based selection. The like uh, canonical selection the Rowlett wheel selection is also another version of this it is also called proportionate based selection the both are the proportional based selection the rank based selection again it is called the ordinal based selection and then there are some other selection strategy also known it is called the tournament selection steady state selection anyway we will discuss uh, one by one them first let us discuss about uh, canonical selection. Now, canonical selection idea is uh, very simple it basically calculates two values for each individuals. So, f i the fitness value of the i th solution and this a bar capital F bar this represents the uh, it is represents the average evaluation of all individuals in the current population assume that population of size n then the F bar can be calculated using this formula. If we know the fitness values of each individuals in the population then it is a summation of the fitness value of each followed divided by the total number of size of the population. So, this gives the F bar. So, essentially so this is basically it is same also F i summation of i equals to 1 to n F i into n this is the formula that is can be followed to calculate this one. So, this basically calculate the fitness fitness uh, fitness of any i th individual. Now, the canonical selection follows this formula and and we will see exactly how this formula can be applied to I mean to use the selection of mating pool. So, in any instant of the current population we calculate this fitness value this fitness value for all individuals and according to this canonical selection the probability that an individual in the current population will be selected for the mating pool is proportional to this fitness value. That means, the individual which has the highest value of this value will be selected first, then the next value will be selected and this will continue to select n p number of 
n p number of n p number of solutions. So, n p is basically uh, some p percentage of n. So, p may be 25 or may be 30 percent or like this one. That means, this way out of the n where n is the current population size we will select n p number of individuals where n p is less than n and then they will be selected based on this fitness value that we have calculated for each. That means, the higher the fitness value will be selected first and so on so on this way we will select n p. So, this is the concept of canonical selection here. Now, after knowing the canonical selection we will learn about the next selection strategy it is called the Rowlett wheel selection strategy. In this scheme the probability for an individual is being selected for the mating pool is considered to be the proportional to its fitness that is basically the concept of canonical same as this one that is why both the technique is called proportionate based, but it has little bit different the idea. The idea is basically <coughs> uh, if we know one wheel let us see exactly what is the idea that is followed there in Rowlett wheel selection it is there. So, Rowlett wheel selection can be better understood by a wheel game. So, wheel game is basically uh, is a wheel it is like this and the different wheel is marked with the different color or different symbols and then the different area rather or different regions the different regions is proportional to the different fitness value. For example, see suppose one solution having the fitness value f 1 and it if it is a area that is can be covered proportionally. So, this is and similarly f 2 is this one proportion and this one. So, here basically f 6 is the lowest fitness value for the solution. So, the, the wheel can be calibrated based on the different fitness values and it is like this one. Now, having this is a wheel and suppose it is rotated in this direction and there is a pointer like and let it be rotated and then when the wheel stop its it will point to some uh, some point it is there. So, if it points to this one then the f 1 will be selected. So, let the wheel be rotated for n p times where n p number of uh, individuals to be selected for the mating pool. So, for each time we will select the individual who is basically this one. So, the probability that an individual will be selected for this in fact proportional to their fitness value become. So, this has the least chance to stop it there because it is the wheel game is like that. So, the idea it is followed there the same idea is basically followed in the wheelit scheme is there and then so it is basically the okay it can be obviously that we learn that if the fitness value is greater than then that greater fitness value the individual with greater fitness value will be selected for the mating pool. Now, this idea is basically followed there in the Rowlett wheel scheme. Now, the mechanism is therefore, the top surface area of the wheel is divided into n parts in proportion to the fitness values of each individuals. The wheel is rotated in a particular direction may be clockwise or anti clockwise and a fixed pointer is used to indicate the winning area when it stops rotation. A particular sub area representing a solution is selected to be winner probabilistically and probability that the ith area will be declared as the winner is using this formula. So, this is basically the formula that basically p i that this particular area will be selected. Now, you can note that this formula p i is basically same as the uh, fitness value that we have calculated in case of uh, the canonical wheel only the product n is there, but here it is not there anyway otherwise it is same. So, but in this Rowlett wheel scheme this basically gives the calculation of the probabilistic value that at any i th uh, rotation of the wheel the i th individual with the fitness value f i will be selected for the mating pool. Now, having this is the understanding then let us see how the uh, it will work it is like this. Uh, <coughs> I can give an example so that you can understand it. So, suppose at any instant uh, there are 8 individuals 
and each individual has their fitness score which is mentioned here right these are the fitness score for 8 individuals is calculated by some means and then based on this fitness score and using the probabilistic calculation we can calculate these are the probabilistic value for each individual. So, for the 8 individuals their fitness can be calculated and finally, their probability of selection can be calculated. Now, the same thing it can be represented here. So, these are the different fitness value of the different solution different fitness value of the different solution and then these are the probabilistic value that is there for each. So, this basically the ok. So, if this is the Rowlett wheel alternatively this is also the Rowlett wheel in the tabular form this is the pictorial form of the Rowlett wheel and this is the tabular form of the Rowlett wheel. Now, I will see exactly how the Rowlett wheel mechanism can be followed to select the individual. So, there are few steps involved. So, as we have said already input is the n number of individuals in a current population and output is basically we have to select n p number of population out of n the for the meeting. So, the first task in this method is compute p i for each given the f i the fitness value for each. Then next step is basically calculate the cumulative probability for each. So, its cumulative probability value can be calculated using this formula. So, j equals to 1 to i p j for the ith individual and it is denoted by capital P i. So, it is basically called cumulative probability. Now, then we have to generate a random number between 0 and r let this random number be 0 uh, let this random number be denoted as r. Then if the r is in between this cumulative value p g and p g minus 1 then select p jth individual as the winner and we have to repeat this step right uh, for n times to select n p number of individuals. Okay, so, the idea it is like this we have to calculate f i the fitness score for each individual and then we will calculate the probability of selection p i for each individual and then cumulative probability and then generate a random number r and based on the random number r in between 0 and 1 we have to decide the jth, jth individual for the selection. Now, we can give an example so that we can understand it better. Now, here is an one example like this earlier. So, these are 8 individuals these are the p i value the probability of uh, searching is there and then these are the cumulative probability. Now, you can see what is the cumulative probability is basically for the first it is basically 0 0.1 then this is added to give this one then this is added to this one it is give this one. So, this way uh, ok. So, it is basically the so 27 means it will uh, add this one then this is the 27. Similarly, this one means add up to this one this is the cumulative this one. So, this way the cumulative probability for each will be calculated. Now, if 8 individuals are there for their p i small p i and then capital P i can be calculated. So, this is the step. Next is the selection according the Rowlett wheel. So, idea is that we have to select a random number in between 0 and 1. So, let us see this is the current instance the first toss and the random number is 0 0.26. Now, if so then we have to select the winner out of which how we can select it. So, if the 0 0.26 is less than to the highest community probability and then so 0 0.26 is basically lie in this one. So, 0 0.26 I mean that means it is so it is basically this value should be less than the cumulative and greater than this one. So, it is basically this one is the selected that means we will select 3. So, so if 0 0.26 is tossed first then the third individual that means it will be selected. So, we give a tile mark here 1 ok. So, this is selected. Now, next is 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4 is basically selecting this one because it is within less than this one. So, 1 will be selected. So, 1 will be tiled here. Then 0 0.48 the next toss now 0 0.48 is basically this one. So, it is basically select 5. So, we can the tile 1. Then 0 0.43 0 0.43 means 4. So, the 4 select 4 element will be selected that means this will be selected. 
then 0 0.9, 0 0.9 will be this one, so select 2 will be selected. Then 0 0.30, 0, 0 0.30 is this one, so 4 will be selected. So uh, 0 0.30, 0, so 0 0.30 is under this category, so 3 will be selected. 3, 1 selected first, then next 3 again selected. And then 0 0.61, 0 0.61 is basically so 5 will be selected. So 5 is selected earlier 5 selected one, next 5 is selected second times. And 0 0.89 it is basically uh, the 8 will be selected. So 8 will be selected now. So this tally marks basically shows the how many individuals are selected, and if an individual selected more than once or not, it is like this. So in this example we see. Uh, the individual 1 is selected once, 2 is selected once, however, this selected twice 3, I mean the individual 3 is selected twice, 4th is 1 and then uh, five, individual 5 is selected twice, however, individual 6 and 7 is never selected at all and then individual 8 is selected once. So, these are the way, so 8 here basically 8 round we have carried out and in each round how the 8 individual will be selected there. So, we need not to carry the 8 round in fact we have to carry out NP rounds depending on how many uh, how many individuals you have to select for the mating pool actually. So, this procedure needs to be repeated for NP times and each time we have to have a random number in between 0 and 1 and accordingly we have to select it. So, this basically the idea about the uh, roulette wheel scheme and then we will follow it there. Now, Following are the important features in the Rowlett and Squee as you can understand it. The bottom most individual in the population has a cumulative probability p n equals to 1. So, this can be example like this. So, it is the, uh, the bottom most means this is the bottom most individual and it has the cumulative probability 1. The cumulative probability of any individual lies in between 0 and 1. So, we can see again the cumulative probability always in between 0 and 1. The ith individual in the population represents the cumulative probability from p i minus 1 to p i. So, it can be like this. So, the ith individual if suppose the fourth individual has the cumulative value between p i to p i minus 1 to p i that means third to fourth cumulative probability. That, that is the that it will be selected depending on the random number that can be. And then the topmost individuals in this uh, representation having the cumulative probability values 0 and then first pi. So, again this is the topmost one uh, in this topmost the cumulative probability in between 0 and 0 0.5 that is basically the first one. So, this is the this one. So, these are the property that the uh, cumulative probability is, uh, okay, uh, holds uh, in this case. And one idea it is just I have to say it that the expected count that can be obtained that can be also proportional to the uh, probability that the ith element will be selected. So, it basically hold good this formula if E i denote that the how many times that E i will be selected I mean expected for the selection that can be cal calculated if n is the size of the population and P i denotes the probability that the ith individual will be calculated then it gives the expected selection. Now, so this idea is basically uh, this basically the idea about uh, the Rowlett wheel scheme rather. So, in the Rowlett wheel scheme Okay, so, the tally mark that we have used is basically counting the expected uh, count for each individual actually. So, it is basically n into pro the multiplication of the p i. Now, here obviously, one question that arises is that whether this selection is sensitive to ordering say in ascending order of their fitness values if we do or this one. What I want to say is that it is independent of the sensitivity of the ordering if you take the individuals in any order it will give the results in a probabilistic manner of course, but it is independent of the any ordering scheme that is follow. So, whether all the individuals are ordered according to the fitness value and then their p i value is calculated and then community probability it hardly matters. Now, 
So, rowlet wheel selection is more I mean uh, a better approach than the canonical selection because canonical selection is basically a very naive approach, but rowlet selection gives a favor. However, it suffers from one limitation which I want to discuss it. As an example, the limitation of the rowlet wheel can be understood. Suppose at any instant there are only 4 individuals and they are denoted by f 1, f 2, f 3 and f 4 and their fitness value is here. So, 80, 10, 6 and 4 these are the fitness score and in percentage we have represented it anyway. So, it is there or we can say 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 are the fitness score of all these uh, things on there. Then if we apply the Rowlett wheel scheme then let us see what will happen to this kind of selection and this basically gives an idea about what is the drawback of the method. So, it is basically the fitness value of the 4 individual that we have uh, used it and then this is the fitness score we have represented in the point formula it is like this basically same is the same 80 percent to this one also same actually the representation. So, so if the if we see the wheelet marking wheel game then the individuals covered with the highest one and then this is the second individual third individual and fourth individual and if we play the game then the chance that the maximum time it will point is the individual one. So, if we run it for the four times the probability that the first individual will be selected that means the wheels will favor that individual who is having the fitness value. Okay, it is desirable, but sometimes it is also not so desirable because it deprives or it basically ignore the other to be selected. And in the GA strategy the idea is that you have to give a fair chance to all other also to be selected. Uh, obviously, the best individual will be selected most of the time, but sometimes the other individuals if it is uh, selected it can give the better diversity in the problem solution. So, we should not ignore the other individuals also or other that uh, the always favoring to a particular individuals also not a good uh, what is called the strategy to follow. So, that is why this is uh, idea is that the higher individuals with uh, the individuals with the higher fitness values will favor uh, according to the Rowlett wheels mechanism and this become a problem or it creates a lesser diversity and hence there is a chance that the genetic algorithm will terminate with a local optimum solution or the premature convergence will result. So, this is the one limitations there uh, in this Rowlett wheel selection scheme and the same limitations can be overcome using some other approach and this approach is called the uh, Rowlett selection scheme and the Rowlett selection scheme will be discussed in our next, uh, next uh, slides, next lectures. Okay, thank you.